explain the concept of SQL cursors. SQL cursors are database objects used to retrieve and manipulate data row by row in a result set. They provide a way to iterate through the record of a query result or a database table. Cursors are often used when you need to perform operations that require row level processing or when you need to update, delete or fetch data from a result set one record at a time. Here is an overview of the key concept related to SQL cursors. Cursor declaration. To use a cursor, you must first declare it. A cursor declaration specifies the query that will be used to populate the cursor. It also includes the data type and structure of the result set that a cursor will retrieve. Declare cursor name, cursor for, select column 1, column 2, etc. from table name to a condition. Opening a cursor. After declaring a cursor, you need to open it to start fetching data. The open statement is used for this purpose. Open cursor name. Fetching data. Once the cursor is open, you can fetch, use the fetch statement to retrieve rows one by one. You can specify whether you want to fetch the next row, the previous row or a specific row depending on your requirement. Fetch next from cursor name into at the rate variable 1, at the rate variable 2 and so on. You can assign the fetch value to variable for further processing. processing. Iterating through the result set. You typically use a loop such as a while or for loop to iterate through the result set and fetch data until there is no more rows to retrieve. While fetch status is equal to 0, we can process the fetch row. Fetch next from cursor name into at the rate variable 1, at the rate variable 2 and so on and closing and deallocation of the cursor. After you have finished working with the cursor, it's important to close and deallocate it to release the database resources. Close cursor name, deallocate cursor name. Cursor type. SQL cursors can be classified into various types such as forward only cursor default, scrollable cursor, dynamic cursor depending on their capabilities and the operation they support. Cursors and sensitivity. Cursor can be defined as a sensitive or insensitive. A sensitive cursor reflects any changes made to the underlying data while it is open, whereas an insensitive cursor does not. Use cases. Cursors are often used to in stored procedures, triggers and other database objects where row level processing is necessary. They are particularly useful for tasks such as data validation, complex calculation, and data manipulation where set based operations are not sufficient. It is important to note that while a cursor can be a powerful tool for row level operation, they should be used judiciously because they can introduce performance overhead, especially in case where set based operations are more efficient. In many scenarios, it is possible to achieve the same result using the standard SQL statement without the need of cursor.